Alright people, welcome back to Daily Duel. So today is Tuesday, that means that we are using Teller Knights again. So what I am doing is pretty much taking the lessons that I have learned from, uh, you know, using that competitive, competitive-ish deck and uh, applying it to the Teller Knight deck that I want to make in real life, hopefully, for my fun deck. And uh, seeing get the lessons learned, so I increased Vega up to 3 because I realized that Vega is super fucking good, you know. I was kind of looking at the deck and I was like, why am I only running two Vega, but then three of like freaking, uh, uh, like Kage to Kage and three of, um, of, this hand is bad. <laughs> I know, if this was my tag out card, you know, maybe we could have done something, but it's not. <laughs> and, uh, you know, and three of Goldfish, but not Vega. Like, Vega gives me Trevor, so, you know, Trevor is like, you know, the end, one of the end all be all Teller Knights, so, you know. Without Vega, I really can't pull off Trevor that well. So, you know, I increased Vega. Um, what else did I do? I put in some Venus Chains. So, you know, this thing, go ahead and see that. So, let's see if I can go Venus Chain my opponent's monster and try to put it back, you know? See if we can go ahead and try that play out like <clears throat> some of the competitive Teller Knight decks are doing. Was that Horus level 8? It was. Yeah. Well, it'd be nice if Vega could summon Vega. You know what? I'm just gonna make a little wobble chain. You're in here, right? Yeah, fuck it. Fuck it. I was gonna take the duel slow, but fuck it. I'm gonna make a little wobble chain. Because clearly, you know, I'm not getting my Deneb. You know? If we got Deneb, and we do something, I can always warrior returning alive back my ulti air. So fuck it. Making a little wobble chain. Making a wobble chain. Fuck it. Yep. Yep. Send an up. We're trying out two of the star cross to help with consistency. Yeah. We might bump that, actually. Because, you know, I have so many different teller knights that aren't fucking Deneb at the beginning. Like, clearly, like, now, you know, if I just open up with that, I literally could have just went, alright, well, I can just summon Altair. Go ahead and change him for Deneb. Deneb, search me for that Altair that I just put back, and I would be totally fine. I wouldn't even have to go into this level chain play. So... Yeah, might consider that. Might consider that. Actually, you know what? I should have activated when Warrior Returning. Oh, never mind. Never mind. I'm not sure if he'll be able to summon Horus level 8. I'd say Horus level 6 is unaffected by other spell cards, but Horus level 8. Oh, Silver Calcos. Okay. So he's just uh, he's just going to throw down the Silver Calcos. He's going to, I guess he's just going to say, no, I don't need my extra deck. Like, oh, okay. An additional 500 attack is not bad. Yeah, there it is. Horse level six. I was expecting. Uh, uh, this card just joined Pokemon. Uh, uh, this card is uh, during the end phase. This card destroyed the opponent's monster by battle this turn. You can send this phase of summon eight from your hand or deck. All right, so he is going to summon eight. The question is, can I handle eight? Yeah, I should be able to handle eight. Unless he has Royal Decree, then then no. <laughs> yeah. No. You summon eight. I can go call the haunted. Summon back. Uh, Altair. Altair. Summon the nab. Search. Summon this Vega XC, and uh, you know, blow him up. Uh. Yeah. So go ahead and bring back Altair. And you're gonna go horse level eight. Wait, you're not going horse level eight? Also, you're unaffected by the Seal of Calico, so that's not doing anything. <laughs> there we go. Get that search on. Another Altair. Now you're gonna upgrade? No. He just said, screw it, I don't need him. I'm like, okay. Well, I did not mean to shuffle my hand. I can <laughs> I'm going to activate Rota. Rota, give me another Deneb. I could go for Triv, but there's really no point. Is there a point? Is there a point? I may be able to pick out the Silivori Calcos. And I wouldn't get my Call of the Haunted back. 
That's a, that's a good question. Is it worth it? I'm starting to like the Starcross even more than Delta Rust right now. Yeah, we're going to Trev. Trev. Trev, put everything back. The question is, should I equip Trev with Alpha? Give me something. Nope, you don't need that. Still hard attack us. And I can just reset the freaking Call of the Haunted. What else do I got? No. Kind of realized that I need a couple of these things. I mean, revival is enough. <laughs> Hmm. Hmm. It's sitting okay right now. The thing is, should I equip Factor? I could just be straight up unaffected by all my Pokemon. I would be 26. You could still summon it at level 8. Uh, I'll take it slow. I'm okay right now. Yeah, I'm okay right now. Why didn't I attack? Because I'm an idiot. I was not paying attention. I thought I was in main phase 2. I thought I already attacked. Like, no, I didn't. Like... You know what? It's fine. It's fine. This is all for good fun. I'm just testing this deck out. I'm not even really trying to, you know, kick this guy's ass competitively or anything along those lines. Oh, he's going to tribute me. For, I guess, level 6. Yep. This effect isn't once per turn? Try to summon this card. See something once per turn. You have to show that this card has well has X materials. All right. I would say you can just keep summoning that back. Hello. Like no, no, it has to have X materials. Yeah, I guess I'll. Mmm. But then he'll get eight. But you know what? I can handle. I can handle eight. If he just, I don't know why he didn't go to eight last time. To tell you the truth. Yeah, I guess I'll just go ahead and summon my one Deneb. I don't know why you didn't go to 8 last time, but alright. Uh, I'll summon you. Like I said, I'm not really being a big fan of a nuclear high right now. And destruction. Really. Really. Ah. I definitely don't like that. No? Once, cause once I get into, once I start getting into the duel, I really don't need a nuclear high anymore. That's a thing. So I might take him out. I might just run the Starcross. Starcross might be straight up better than a nuclear high. No. Oh, now you're gonna go into eight. All right. He's like, I gotta get my eight on. I'm like, all right. So you can just straight up negate spells. Straight up, just never spells activated. Boom, negate. Boom, negate. Boom, negate. So, at least I'm still up on resources, so I'll summon Vega, Vega, summon Altair. I hope there are some tele other Teledyne monsters, because really, I'm really starting to get back to just, you know, like, oh, I really don't need any other Teledyne monsters besides, you know, just these three. You know, the other ones, I'm kind of like, meh, lately. Yeah, I'll get him a Nuko high, but like I said, he might be taken out, because I, I just don't feel like I need him. Especially running the Starcross, because really all I need is Starcross. No. Go ahead and go Delta Rose. Delta Rose. Go ahead and go pop. You don't need them. And then I'm going to go ahead and equip you with a factor. Can I equip you with two factors? Yeah, I can. You would just be a straight up 3,500 beater who's unaffected by my opponent's shit. Yeah, uh... Uh, I think I win. <laughs> I'm a 3,500 beater who's unaffected by my opponent's card effects. That's fun. You know, I guess I can... I also took out Sirius just because I thought the revival was enough. Yeah, I guess I'll get you. Uh, I said, at this point, a nuclear high is kind of just swollen up. Maybe I, maybe I should look at the Telenite monster see if there's anything like that. I guess I can run the Alsham and pound my opponent for a thousand, but, you know, I guess, you know, I, that might help. When I run out of targets to do with the Nev, I could just simply just summon them Alsham and burn. That's not terrible. Serious, it's not really enough Telenite monsters to really pull that off correctly, and my revival and my get back is so good, because I'm running, you know, triple Call the Haunted, triple Oasis, triple, you know, uh, you know, while you're turning alive, so my revival is so fucking good that it really doesn't seem like I need to put anything back. I just grab it back from the graveyard whenever I feel like it. You no. Know? 
come on, I got a fucking 3,500 Delta Rossi's unaffected by card effects. I'm like, I'm literally like killer right now. Oh, he's got Soul Charge. And he just wants Dandelion. That's it. Like, Alright. Like, I guess. <laughs> yeah, we'll go ahead and play Call of the Haunted. Call of the Haunted, bring back Altair. Altair, bring back. I don't give a shit. Sure, Trev. Let's just summon a whole bunch of Teller Knights and just beat my opponent to death. Because at this point in the duel, that's really all I need to do. Just beat my opponent to death. Of course, I'm not going to summon Goldfish. You can go to attack mode. And I guess I'll summon the Neb. The Neb search me for my last Anukula High. Because why not? Like I said, he might be taken out. So, if I take him out and I run run three Novas and one Sham, I mean, that seems like it'll work out. No, especially when, you no, know, I tag out a Tower Knight monster, summon a Tower Knight monster, but I can't do anything else. I can't put something except for Tower Knight monster. Does it look like I have any other shit besides Tower Knight monsters on the field? Like, no. <laughs> no, and these, if I have anything other than Tower Knight monsters, they're automatically destroyed, so... That's not what I want. Like, goddamn, look at this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. To my opponent. Like, my opponent's 2. I am so up on resources. Like, hello? No, I'll just leave him like that. Oh, I, I forgot I had Delta Rose effect. I could use Delta Rose to pop one of his cards. Hello? God, I'm bad. I could have probably won this duel already. <laughs> or close to it. Yeah, close to it. Okay, and it's destroyed. You know, field spell. Alright, that's destroyed. You know, field spell. <laughs> like, what was it? What was your plan? Silver Calcos? Was that it? You totally like, oh, yeah, Silver Calcos. Yeah. Oh, that's why I fucked him up. I forgot. You can only play one, one Silver Calcos, only once per duel. So when I went trip and I returned it to the hand, he couldn't play it again. So he was fucked. I got it. I got it. <laughs> I forgot about that. About Silver Calcos. So Trip was the right idea. Trooper was the right idea. Nice. Alright, let's go ahead and get uh, another duel. Let me tweak the deck one more time. Be right back. Alright, I made the changes. So, let's see if that helps with the consider. I triple Rota, triple the Neb, triple, you know. Nope. I did not open up what I needed to. My opponent has no extra deck. And 40 cards, so he might be using something sacky. Yeah, he might be using Cleaplet. Nope, nope. Looks like either Exodia Chain Burn. Nope, Cleaplet. Nope, Cleaplet. Alright, well. This hand is bad. I'm glad I got all these factors. That's nice. <laughs> the question is, what should I do right now? I don't even know what to do right now. So if I could summon, I could summon Deltaros. I need one more monster to summon Deltaros. Like it. I'll just set the one Phoenix chat. I'll take a little slow right now. Even though I may not be wise, but there's not much I can do. You attack me for a team? I'll take it. Hey, come on, one one monster. One monster. I thought my consistency was as high as it could possibly be. Maybe not. There you go. There you go. I'll take that. Yep. Summon you. You. I mean, of course, unless you have a skill drain. And in that case, then fuck. <laughs> Alright, doesn't seem like a skill drain. So summon you. You, go ahead and summon you. Ixi summon into Deltaros, of course. Thank you. That's all I needed was one monster. And I got him. Damn, Deltaros. Equip him with Nova. I mean, Factor. Fa Alpha. I fucking didn't even change the card art. Hello? And detach you. Pop that, so you don't need it. Mirror Force. Mm. Alright, yeah, I'll be unaffected anyway. But No, damn! Damn, I'll be a clean player! <laughs> he just scooped it up! He's like, nope, 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 can't get over 3,000, can't do it. Nope, nope, nope. Like, damn, alright. Alright, we'll get another duel in. Be right back. Alright, people, let's get one more duel in. Yeah, I mean. 
I got it right there. First turn Deltaros again. So, we'll go ahead and just go into it again with the Factor. Or the Alpha, whatever the fuck the name is. I don't, I don't know. I got Sham. So, I'll bear my opponent for a thousand at least. I'll send on Goldfish. Yes. Yes. So, Kage, go ahead and summon yourself. Goldfish, go ahead and summon Sham. Burn my opponent for a thousand. Because why not? The idea of Sham is just to play it when I run out of shit to play. XC into, of course, Deltaros. And then equip him with an Alpha. And make him unaffected and 3000 meter. Nice and powerful. Burned a lot of resources pulling off that play. Thank you. Search for what, what, what Beast Warrior deck are we facing today? Lads. Okay. Can Glad handle this? Shit, they have to fucking tag into fucking, uh. into fucking Bastari to handle this situation. Just so you can pop my fucking alpha, because if you don't, I'm just a 3,000. I'm unaffected, straight up, unaffected by my opponent's card effects. Oh, okay. You can pop my alpha with Gorilla. I, I didn't even know I didn't even know they played shit like that. Like, hello? Oh, there's Nova. You got something to fuck me up? Well, right now I wish I played fucking, uh... Uh... Diamond, but I don't, because it's not out yet. When it comes out in the TCG, I'll start playing it, but right now this is a TCG only deck, so... <clears throat> Well, I got an alpha, so if he tries to play anything to get to handle my Deltaros, I can easily fuck him up, so. Uh, nice gorilla. I didn't even know they played gorilla. <laughs> that was my bad. I'm like, gorilla? Like, oh, I thought, they, you know, I thought they splashed in one bear, but I didn't know they played gorilla with it, too. There's Thunder King. <clears throat> uh, I guess you're going to exceed into, like, 101 and try to take me. Yep. Um, Nova. So you get negated. I draw a card. Delta Russ will go off. I summon a Telenite monster from my deck. You don't have any Glads on the field. Not oh, wow. You're just gonna quit. Like, dude, you're up on resources. Like, wow, all right. I was going to use Delta Rail, summon Deneb. Deneb's first three for Altair. Then I could have went, I literally could have just went Altair, summon Sham, burned you, XC into another Delta Rail, so, you know. He just straight up just, nope, quit. Like, damn. <sighs> I want to get one more duel. One more duel. I don't want people to quit. Bear back. All right, let's try this again. Literally, I'm just testing out the consistency of my plays. So far, it's not looking too hot. Seems like I got to go through loops and hoops and stuff just to make a fucking... Uh, uh, fucking, uh, I knew I'm gonna get, I was like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna run one sham and I'm gonna get it a shit ton of times because I'm running one. And burn you for a thousand. I'll set the Phoenix Chain, I'll set the Nova. No. I said, I'm not sure how I feel about sham. I could easily run something else. I can run Soul Charge, shit. I'm not running Soul Charge right now, so I could literally run Soul Charge. No, that's fine. No, that's fine. Wow. You just said, fuck it. I'm done. <laughs> fine. I wrote it up. Rota, get me the map. Summon the neb. That's how I play the neb. And yes, I'll train Kage. Because now I can go into a Delta Rouse. You guys know how much I love Delta Ross. I mean, you, I'll do more damage attacking, or search me for Altair. So he just blind space, threw an up, played an upstart, and just ended his turn. Battlefighter. Alright. 
That's cute. I'm just gonna go into Daltros and destroy you. Daltros! Destroy. Because he probably wants a tribute off of that, so no thank you. Is this the same guy that I dueled earlier? The, the Horus guy? I can't remember what his name was. <clears throat> He's not doing anything real different. You want me to Regeki me? Sure, I'll take the Regeki. Yep. So, Boltaros, go ahead and summon me a Deneb from my back. And search me for, um, Vega. Vega! Because now I have Vega and Altair, so... If you activate anything, no, he's just gonna end his turn. Like, seriously? 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 Vega. Yes. Summon Altair. I shouldn't have summoned Vega. That was my bad. Yes. Summon me back to Neb. You know, I'm still good, though. I shouldn't have done that. Well, actually, I can always just Nova the... The, uh... Whatever monster I leave. Should probably be Altair. I'll go into another Deltaros. Equip it with the powerful Nova. That powerful... I mean, not Nova. This Alpha. This is Nova. This is just Alpha. Make myself a 3,000 beater that's unaffected by opponent's card. I fell in love with this card. Like, if you're running a pure teller deck, I love this card. It's like 3,000 beater unaffected by shit. <laughs> now I can just go ahead and alpha whatever you fucking play on this Altair. Negate and destroy you, draw a card. Alright, so I guess you're gonna tribute my Altair because this Deltaros is not affected by your shit. Oh, it is the Horus guy again. I was wondering who was him. I bet he's like, oh, how come I couldn't tribute your Deltaros? Like, I'm unaffected, bitch. <laughs> that includes Monarch Stormforth. I love this card. And like Konami, they were just like, let's make it so they are unaffected by everything, man. Like, yeah. <laughs> One of my favorite decks in Yu-Gi-Oh is Talon Knights. I like Talon Knights. I hate Shadows. You know, especially when I'm playing fun like this. Yeah. Kick that guy's butt twice. <laughs> you know, like I said, once this, once I get my nebs and my style, I start going off. I start getting consistent. I start playing my plays and the deck starts, the ball starts rolling. I think I might take out Sham. Sham, you know, I could just put a soul charge in. So, yeah, more revival. Why not? All right. So I'm going to go ahead and call that an episode. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of uh, Daily Duel. So lesson learned. I learned a lot. I learned and I applied that. I on my card of view. I talked about how I didn't like uh, a, a, a cross. I mean Skybridge, and it actually turned out to be pretty good. I like it more than Nuclei. So there you go. So I guess I should uh, check myself before I wreck myself with that video. And I should I should go back to that video and look at that guy's tips because he posted a big old comment. Fat ass comment about tips about how to use the card properly. So I should go ahead and check that out. So anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and call it an episode. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of Daily Duels. So I know, I know, I wasn't dirty damn. Sort of. Sort of, you know. When I get the fat when I get this freaking alpha going on, Delta Us is just like nice and beefy, you know? I mean, a three thousand beaters unaffected by your opponent's card effects? That's difficult. That's really difficult. I hope you have MST, you know? You know, I'm, I'm pretty much killer status. I talked about this shit, too, and I was like, pretty much, I'm killer status. So, you know. So of course, when Diamond does come out, you know, no, I'll probably run him. I'll run him just to slap him on top of something. But, uh, you know, like I said, I'm not planning on playing Tell Knights competitively. I have, the, I pretty much have the deck, you know. Uh, I I need to get trips though. I need to get Trivers, but I have, I think I have two Deltaros, so I need to get another one. Um, I have the... I have the Altairs, the Denebs, the Vegas, I have the Novas, so I literally just need to take the deck, you know, start putting it together, and then bam, I have me a nice fun deck for uh, live videos. Huh? So, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and uh, call this, so 
I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of uh, Daily Duels. So thanks for watching, thanks for all the support, and I will see you guys tomorrow with, of course, Cleepit. Alright guys, thanks for watching.